Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to more Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In the last episode, we got um, through the z Mines things. Our ship got owned by a Aura Thingy, and this episode we're going to hopefully get rid of that Aura Thingy. But first we're going to go buy items, because we have a lot of extra money since I uh, trained in that area. So let's see what we can buy. Okay, that one of those. 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 And two of those. Alright. Uh, equipped. Nothing. Basically everything. Um, one of these. One of these. Let's sell stuff. Rusty dagger can. Eh, we'll keep it. Might as well. Okay, get rid of this. I have Hellfire and Hurricane, so I can get rid of Quake. I'll keep the Thunder one. Alright. What about weapons? We love weapons. Um. Is it really worth. Yeah, I'll get this one, but I won't get the mace. I don't really attack much of Ryan for either way, so uh, wait, I want to sell it. Mm, there we go. Okay, uh, item shop. Anything I need? That was awkward. A lot of useful tools. Just to get the Borgen, but just get the step right. Yes. Ooh. Paralysis and poison magic. Eh. I'll skip it. They're kind of good to have in the future, but uh, I'm not gonna bother with it. Ooh, treasure chest. I go up there and get it. Where can I get that treasure chest? I think there's stairs around here somewhere. Come on, stairs. Where are the how? Found them. I love treasure chests. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a life jewel. All right, let's go sell it. Cause I am greedy, bitch. Ha 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 ha. Rick James, you're yeah. um wrong way. Man, the freaking. Ugh. I hate navigation in this game sometimes. It's just too fidgety. Anyways, shut up. I have a lot of starlights. I should probably uh. I'm not use them, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being dumb right now. And let's let's continue on. Um, basically, what I want to do now is go over here. Let's see if this is any person who wants to enter the advance required to undergo the trial. Failure results in life of in life of back backbreaking labor and misery. Success leads in life of luxury and service of Master Borgen. It's all it's all because of a cursed magic that I'm stuck here. All those people and slaves are that fat bastard that makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna guess that Lamina obviously Lamina's gonna pass. Hero because he has the wind magic. And Ron Far because he has healing magic, I think. Basically Gene's the other one doesn't have actual magic. Hello strangers, is this your first time in Neo Vein? You might not know the only only the magical gifts are allowed to enter the glorious city. Thus you need to have your magic powers verified. Please follow me. Okay. What the? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, Lucia, of course. But why is Ruby in this thing? Hey, sister, what do you mean, Ralph Fire and are good? Isn't that just a bit rude? I don't need this. Gene and I are waiting outside this dump. Hey, lady, if you would, if if that's indeed what you are, we're leaving. Hurry up, let us out. Oh goodness, I'm afraid you don't understand at all. The two of you are not allowed to enter Neo Vein, and you're not allowed to leave either. Farewell. Whoa! The hell? Ronfar, Gene. I mean, I guess Ruby is a dragon, so I guess that makes sense. People without magic power, like those two commoners, are made to work in the mines of Zebek until they die. Harsh but necessary, I'm afraid. In any case, to the rest of you, congratulations and welcome to the wonderful city of Neo Vane. That's awful. Freaking, I want my friends back. Congratulations are in order. You've been selected to live here in Neo Vane. What do you mean selected? You were around for Gene. Give him back to us. My duty is to send incompetent people to the underground. I don't belong here with us. I can't retrieve them for you, but why would you worry about yourself as fate is such worthless filth? A bitch. Anyways, here's Neo Vane. Got to call it that's pin money. Yeah. I just got healed. 
So yeah, now we have Lucia and Lamina and Ruby, of course. Ruby's always going to be with you, no matter what. Even though it doesn't make any sense. So let's go around town looting. Might as well. Freaking, they like threw off half of our useful party. Lamina's alright, but she, when it comes to boss battle, she's pretty good. But when it comes to regular battle, she's pretty much useless because she's slowest. What are you going to do, you know? Item shop. You can kind of expect them to have starlights and stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah. Herb. Let's just check. Welcome. As befits the city of Elite, the items they sell are of the highest quality. What's this? It increases magic defense and increases wisdom. Yeah, they have starlights here. If you want to buy a couple, that's fine. But I already have 11 of them. Plus 6. 6? Yeah, silver light, so I think I'm good for a little while. See, these people are stupid. They have. Ooh, life jewel. I'll sell that right now. They're stupid. They have their doors open. As you know, only Link and RPG characters can go looting, uh. can go looting houses. Uh. Basically, Hero gets a whole new wardrobe here. And, uh, yeah. Why the hell did I buy one of those already? Eh, oh well. He gets a cool purple wardrobe, I guess. And so, uh, Lamina gets a whole, like, darkness, dark wizard thingy. Eh. I spent an alright amount of money. Let's see. What weapons? I think they only have one weapon here, and that's the Amethyst sword. Oh, not enough. What can I sell? I'll sell Hellfire Staff. Mm-hmm. See, our hero is all purple, which is cool, because purple is a badass color. Don't be denying. Anyways, there's pretty much nothing else to do here except for go to Master Borgen. Um, yeah. The door is locked here. Let's find one that isn't. I think you can go down here. There's the mines, yeah. Let's get our friends back. Sadly, this is actually another dungeon. See, this is the second dungeon of the three that you have to go through to beat the, uh, black... Ooh, scorpion. To beat the, um... Black dragon trial thingies. Now, unfortunately, you have to fight these. Um... The whole thing about this is they're all weak against magic. All kinds of magic, so, uh... Basically, just get your strongest magic user. Zip. Considering the ones that only can use magic are the ones that are already here, so might as well just unleash hell with magic. Wind. These are basically just scorpions. Um, every physical attack that you can throw at them, they're going to be strong against. Well, that was easy enough. They don't give very good experience or money, but I guess there's it's something. This is a very short dungeon, though, only a few floors. Thank God. And all the enemies here are really slow moving, so you can easily dodge them. I think it's only cut, like, this is only floor, actually. My, I could be wrong. Nope, it's only floor. I don't believe you guys found me in this crazy place. Well, it wasn't that hard. You're right in the front. I had no idea where Gene ended up. I can't believe I had to take a magic test like that. There's no way I could pass. I'm a preacher, not a pre prestigitator. Prestigitator. This place is worse than I had heard. I'm so sorry, Ron, for... Why are you startling me? That's not your fault, that's for sure. I mean, they're all supposed to be magicians. They all had a bad name. Oh, yeah. I heard that there's an exit of some sort of some sort at the bottom of this hellish labyrinth. It's supposed to be some kind of secret entrance to the magic guild. They say the Lord Fatty uses it, so it's gotta be big. So let's keep our eyes peeled for it. Well said, Ron, for... Well said. Um, I think Jean's up here. I think. She just stands... She just standing there. I was beginning to wonder if you ever would rescue me. I'm, I guess the test... The test bore out that I'm not gifted with magical ability. I'm definitely a dancer, not a magical, not a with not magical variety. But dropped drop like that. Ow! Oh, Jean, I'm, I'm so sorry. Let me know. You didn't know. Don't feel guilty. I'm not mad at you at all. I've heard around that Borgen sometimes comes down here. They say there's some kind of secret door used that uses the bottom of this maze. I wonder what he could possibly have to be down here, anyways. That is a good point, Lamina. Let's find this exit real fast. These prisoners have nothing interesting to say, so let's skip them. That's it. Tis! Okay. So I'm gonna get to the, um, 
dungeon in the next video, guys. So this is Fallen Fury signing out of the Runner 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.